Hello everyone, this is Debbie Websites and today I want to show you how to fix the common issue where, where all columns are not equal height with Elementor. Okay, we see a nice example right here. We have infobox, three infoboxes which has different height and it completely doesn't work with common modern design. I will use Elementor as I told before and let's begin. But don't forget to subscribe, click like, and leave some comment to support my channel. Thank you very much. Okay, to achieve it, you can use two ways. My client has premium plugin, which has name Premium Addon Pro. You can buy it and use it the same as my client. I will show you uh, the, the solution with this uh, plugin, right? But there is free solution, which you can use too. The, the plugin calls the plus add-ons for Elementor. You can use it too, it's completely free and the solution looks pretty the same. Settings may be a bit different. Okay, so let's try to do the solution. Okay, we have plugin installed it, already installed it, here it is. And let's go to our settings. So we should click to columns, click advanced, uh, scroll to bottom and find equal height. So let's try to, to do it. Let's try to find it. Okay, sorry, I need to click this, not one column. Okay, and here is equal height. Now I need to activate it, which I did, and click apply. Apply on. As we see, it's already activated, but the solution didn't work. If it doesn't work for you, you need to do custom, so you to, to choose custom selector. Okay, so we see it's applied on widgets. Let's check in code how it works. So we go to the uh, front end and check the, uh, the source code. Okay, we see Elementor widget container has equal height. So let's go like this. And you see it's applied. Uh, sorry, okay, one more. Okay, it's applied here, Elementor the widget container, and it's applied here. But the, but if we will take a closer look, we will see that it doesn't help. We need to apply the mean height to this box, not to this. So we may we to copy the selector from this div. In my case, it's info box. Go to our settings. Here, apply on. We choose custom selector, and in selectors we type class. Info box. Okay, I wrote two dots, so let's try, try to use one dot, and we see the solution is working. So, if this video was helpful for you, don't forget to subscribe, click like, it's really important to me to support my channel. Thank you very much, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.